Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk about how things kind of took a little bit of a turn from where we expected them to after yesterday's content on Monday and how we might see that still change things on the market later on today, on Tuesday, and into the rest of this week, right? We were thinking Syria, right? We were thinking EA was going to pull us down the Syria path after the Pina Monte objective, after the Dybala SBC that is live right now, and they pulled the a 180 and they kind of pushed us down the Bundesliga path. I want to talk about that. And still, again, how you can grind that 85 times 10 SBC at a pretty good price, right? And have a lot of fun with that while opening a lot of packs at the same time. I want to talk through that a bit and also just take a look at the market with the focus shifting to Bundesliga, how that moved things, and also what we could expect today on Tuesday in terms of content and weekend league plus objective. So first things first, yesterday we had a big time SBC that was dropped and it was this Memphis Depay, Memphis Depay, center forward, a, another transfer card. So we have another transfer SBC here. This Depay looks really, really good. Honestly, it's very similar to Dybala in the, in the fact that Dybala had a three-star weak foot, Depay is a three-star weak foot. Five-star skills has been given to both of those items. Of course, Depay has had five-star skills uh, after his team of the season item, but he did not get a four-star weak foot upgrade, which I think was a bit unfortunate. I think this card, albeit being overpriced, if he did have the four-star weak foot or a five-star weak foot, a lot more people would be interested in doing this. I mean, you take a look at these two cards on Footbin, and you can just tell the difference, right? If you take a look at their stats, Depay has got the stocky body type, which for some people is, is a not good thing in this game. But he's got two more pace, one less shot, one less passing, five more physical, five less defense, one less dribbling than Dybala. And there is a 300,000 coin price difference between the two SBCs, making Dybala just looks like so much better of an SBC at this stage of the game, especially with the high medium work rates and with the uh, four-star weak foot instead of three-star. So I think Depay is a really cool card. I think it's a transfer SBC that, again, a lot of people will want to do because it's Barcelona Lynx. There's going to be a lot of, you know, actually team of the season De Young went up on the market yesterday as a link to this Depay card. Some of the Messi cards actually went up too. This Messi was 650K. He's now up to 713,000 coins. So you definitely saw some uh, Barcelona Lynx rise purely because of that De uh, Depay card that was out yesterday, albeit a bit overpriced. So that was a cool SBC. I like the concept EA Sports. Keep them coming. Just do less squads, right? We don't need all of the other rare gold squads. We don't, we don't need any of that. So that's the first thing that came out yesterday. We also had one of those footies, Voting Day, Prime Gold Players Pack SBCs. Do one of those. Do that if you will. But this is the other thing that people were talking about, and that was the footies Bundesliga player pick. And this is what moved the market yesterday. This SBC solely, along with the player vote, which we'll talk about in a second as well, we were thinking it was going to be Serie A today. We were really focused on Serie A after the Dybala and the Piedmonti. And that is not what happened at all. 83 squad, one team of the week or team of the season, 70 chemistry. I think this is like a 50 to 60k SBC. I'm going to be waiting to do this until later on in the week because why not, right? Once this 85 times 10 goes away, I think some of the lower tier fodder will creep downwards a little bit. 81s, 82s, 83s. I think they'll drop off in price a little bit. So I'm going to wait to do that Bundesliga player pick. But in all honesty, there's not that many cards from the Bundesliga that are in Path to Glory or Summer Stars. So really, it's almost like a tots is what you're really hoping for. You're hoping for Goretzka, Sancho. I think those are the top two items in terms of price from the Bundesliga. I mean, you would think like, man, we have so many cards that are in Summer Stars and Path to Glory. I mean, in terms of Bundesliga items, there's just not that many apart from Nabry, Hazard, Klosterman. Uh, in the Summer Stars realm, I do believe there's a, a Summer, right? I think a lot of people are packing Summer Stars Summer as a part of that pack. So in all honesty, the best value for on the market, a card in this game from that Bundesliga player pick, it's going to be Sancho or Goretzka. Kimmich has popped out a few of them, which is nice. But since the pack is only 40,000 coins, it's not terrible. So I think that's why you see this have a 78% thumbs up rating on Footbin for the SBC, because it's an easy gamble, right? It's an easy gamble. It's 50K. You can get it done for cheaper than that, just as an 83 rated squad. But I'm, again, going to be holding off on that until this 85 times 10 is done. But since we had that Bundesliga content yesterday, that, of course, has people thinking now that Bundesliga will be the preferred um, league of choice this week for EA 
if they are to re release weekend league plus requirements today so guys like this sancho who was 300,000 coins flat right around the content shop shot up 50 to 60,000 coins there were tons of prices today on the bundesliga side of things that went up a lot in price because of that focus on the bundesliga and we were kind of surprised right take a look at sancho again he was 300,000 coins 286 actually last night sunday night into monday morning absolutely boomed up to 360k went back down to 340 right now he is 360k again goretzka was 300,000 coins as well and he is up almost a hundred thousand coins on the day after a huge spike in price again this is all based on kind of speculation honestly it's, it's just speculation but what we've seen the past few weeks is when we get bundesliga or when we get a certain league content kind of pushed at us, right? With SBCs, with objectives, with the footies player picks uh, for voting that they put out, it makes everybody think. And since they've released those weekend league plus objectives accordingly with that content, that makes everybody think that the Bundesliga is coming this week. So that's why you're seeing a lot of Bundesliga cards that are up. Again, a lot of times these cards are hitting their highest on like Thursdays, Thursday nights and Friday mornings is when a lot of these cards are hitting their peak, especially with the content on Friday being so big. A lot of people end up turning towards that new content. But I just remember last week, the Prem cards were their highest on Thursday night into Friday morning. I think that's probably going to be the case again this week with Bundesliga if we do get that objective today. And again, another reason why we think we're getting that objective today um, is this vote right here. Silas. Uh, who I guess is still showing as Waman, even though he changed his name. I don't know if you guys knew that or not. I think we talked about it. It was a couple months back or a month ago or so. His name is actually not Waman Jituga. It's actually Silas, uh, and that's kind of what he goes by now. So the card is switched in FIFA, but I think this graphic that was on the web app was actually still incorrect. Um, and then Sane as well. So I think a lot of the FIFA community is really hoping for Silas to pull this one off and to win this vote. And if I could find his voting card, it was here on Footbin just a bit ago. I think Sane is going to win this, though. I really think Sane is going to win this um, because, again, to the casual FIFA player, they're going to know who Sane is, and they're not really going to know who Silas is. So um, that's just one thing that I know this is a very popular card in terms of the FIFA meta and in terms of the hype and the memes and FIFA, but I actually passed on Silas. He's right there. Um, but I really think it's kind of the same thing with Sissoko and Zaha, right? How am I supposed to sit here and tell you that I think Silas is going to win that vote if uh, Sissoko was not able to even beat out Zaha? So I'm really being honest with you here. I do think that Sane is going to end up winning that and we will see his SPC tomorrow. But of course, a lot of people would really hope to see a Silas win that as well. So that again, those are the two things, the player pick and that content right there that has so many people looking at and thinking that we are going to have Bundesliga weekend league requirements or weekend league plus requirements released. Now, the nice thing is we're going to find out really soon. In fact, we should be finding out today if there are going to be weekend league plus requirements. I do think they come out today on Tuesday. That's usually been the schedule. That's how they've been doing things um, in this game. I do think we'll see them today. I think we'll see weekend league plus requirements. I don't know if it's going to be Bundesliga or if it is going to be just a regular weekend league plus because again if you remember we had La Liga uh, we had a week off we had Premier League uh, sorry we had Premier League back to back off of La Liga and then Prem and usually before that we had had we had like the France weekend league then we had a break then we had La Liga and then we were thinking another break was going to happen right or I, I forget the exact order but um, they haven't done just a normal weekend league plus objective in three weeks now I think the past league or nation specific so we will see what they do this time around i think they might go with bundesliga it seems like they will again we'll get that confirmation today i think it'd be very funny if ea kind of finesse us with that bundesliga content and if they do some sort of like hybrid objective like if they require bundesliga or syria or if they just do syria alone by itself because a lot of the syria cards that we were looking at on the market yesterday for potential cards that could rise into this week actually went down, right? I mean, it makes sense because people were buying those cards because they thought they were going to be rising for the weekend. Like speaking of one that dropped off a lot, Donnarumma. Donnarumma dropped off a lot yesterday in price because people were selling this item. He's, he's still backed about 70K. He was lower earlier. But a lot of those Serie A cards went down in price because people, again, were not, they were kind of, they sold their investments because they thought it was going to be a Serie A weekend league. 
and they went out and they sold those cards. Chiesa as well was like over 400,000 coins, and now he is under 400K, he's like 380. Uh, so again, definite drop-offs on some of those Serie A cards was one thing that we saw yesterday, just because that content did not go kind of according to quote-unquote planned, I guess you could say. So that was very interesting to see. But Bundesliga cards this week, I mean, I don't know. I don't know how many people would be absolutely hyped for the Bundesliga Weekend League. It's not like a terrible league in terms of special cards, but the interesting thing part about it, as we've already seen, is a lot of the best cards that are in the Bundesliga are like SBCs um, or, you know, they're, they're team of the season cards. I think about Bundesliga items that I have in my club that I would use, right? And Babu, Tapsoba, uh, maybe like one of the Bender Bros, if you still have any of those cards uh, in your club. So, I still think that a lot of a lot of the cards for the Bundesliga have been SBCs this year. Um, you know, the team of the season version of Silas, uh, his card that was released during Bundesliga Tots. So I'm really curious to see how that affects the market this weekend, if it is Bundesliga weekend league requirements, because some of these Bundesliga cards could go up a little bit more. But I also think some people might be getting tired of this stuff. Like if you just did Dybala, you were kind of hoping for like a Serie A weekend league, right? Because you want to use Dybala because that card looks cracked, right? So... I think some people, and as we go further on throughout the year, or towards the end of the year, I think more people will just kind of quit the weekly plus objectives and use the teams that they want to use, which I totally don't blame you for because we've grinded all year to get these coins, to get these uh, cards that are insane. And just it's just about having fun at this time of the year. So I totally don't blame you if you don't want to do or don't want to mess around with any of those um, weekend league plus requirements but i do think today on tuesday they will be dropping those depending on what league they are again we're expecting bundesliga we will see what actually happens there's some rumors about some like more dynamic duo sbcs that could come out that are bundesliga related guys like monier guys like vitzel are the ones that are kind of quote unquote rumored as sbcs that could be coming out this week we'll see if it happens or not again that is speculative but that is something you can kind of i guess if we see something like that uh, that would also confirm Bundesliga weekend league objectives. But again, we'll see those today most likely and we'll figure out what direction EA are pushing us for this weekend in this game. Now, the next part I want to talk about is um, the SPC fodder and this 85 times 10 because this is an absolute grind of an SPC. And a lot of you guys are like, yo, Nate, I am not going to do 81 plus player picks right now because rares are like 2000 coins a pop. And I'm going to look you straight in the eye and say, no, do not do 81 plus player picks right now. It is just not worth it. Again, take a look at this 2000 coins plus for some of the cheap, quote unquote cheapest rare cards on the market. And then you go down here to the non rares and there's non rares that are expiring and not even being bought up at literally their, their lowest price, 350 to 400 coins. They're not getting bought up right now. In my opinion, one of the best things to do, and you'll see in my honest sign right now, I'm building some packs. Um, the best thing to do is actually do the normal gold upgrade packs that are that have been out in this game literally since the start of FIFA, since the start of the game. These upgrades right here, doing these gold upgrade packs, buy the non-rares, or there's other options here I'll talk about in a second, but just buy all the non-rares from one league. I'm using Spanish right now. Put them into the squad, boom, fill up a, a squad of 11. I probably could have done a squad builder to save myself some time, but we move. And you know what? Boom, there's there's my squad. Let me get a little bit of chem. And right here, bang, 40 chemistry, boom. I get two rare gold players from that. I have packed, I did about 20 of these yesterday on stream. I packed two team of the seasons. I packed other walkouts. Like it's not like they're giving out insane, insane value stuff, but it's good enough value that you're like, okay, I'm getting some decent fodder while doing this. And at the same time, um, it's way cheaper to do, to get two cards through this upgrade pack. When I'm turning in 11 cards, it cost me 400 coins a piece. Then it is going out and doing a player pick that cost me 17, 18,000 coins because rare golds are over 2000. So, you know, this is a really good grinding SBC right here to get you some rare golds to put into the 85 times 10, because that's, what's stopping people, right? They have fodder. They just don't have the rare golds to put into these SBCs. Now, if you want to grind it from the ground up even more, what you can do is rinse all of your bronzes in your club into the bronze upgrade and get silvers, rinse the silvers from your club into the silver upgrade to get more common rare golds, and then rinse those into gold upgrades. It's basically, you can run BPM right now with, you know, bronze packs, and then get those cards and turn them into silvers and blah, 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 go into gold, 
and you can rinse that all the way through to this 85 times 10 because honestly, I, I did that today and it's not that expensive. You, you might have to end up buying a few cards, a few gold rares at the end to finish out a squad. Um, but you go do, you know, 10 to 15 of those gold upgrade packs, which really does not cost you that many coins since it's, you know, 400 coins per card per pack. It's, it's like 5,000 coins per, per, per SBC. Uh, so it's very, very cheap to stack them up and to buy a lot of them at a time. And, you know, you're going to get some some cards. You're going to rinse some of your high rateds that you got from the 85 times 10 back into this. Use a couple of the TOTS cards for the requirements. And then just fill in what you get from your rare gold packs. Buy the couple of cards. Usually I end up buying a couple of rare golds for like 2,000 coins. I end up having to buy like five or six, which isn't bad to finish off an 85 times 10. And then boom, you're doing an 85 times 10 SBC for just very, very cheap. So I think that's a great grind. Again, it's only out for another one day, 13 hours, but non-rare golds are literally discard. So that's an incredible grind that you can do right now at this time. And again, the easiest way to do it is just go in here to the transfer market, search by gold common, pick a nation. Let's go Netherlands. Let's go max by now, 400, 450 coins and then sort by position, right? So go to defenders and then literally I just buy them up by the page, man. I just go in here. And of course, there's a lot of these John knots right here. So I know I'll skip over those. Maybe I'll go to midfielders. It shows a few more Netherlands cards. Or maybe maybe the Dutch nationality is not the best one to use. Actually, Italy would be a great one. There's a lot of non-rares in the Italy. Um, maybe somebody's on that one too. Spain is one that I've been using. Uh, Portugal probably works. There's Especially it's also late at night right now. So there's less cards on the market. But just go through here. Buy these cards up. It's okay if you have dupes. Put them in your unassigned and then go build the gold upgrade packs if you want to do it that way or rinse from the bottom up with those bronze and those silver cards. It's it's honestly a great, great time to do SBCs like that in this game right now. It's a very easy grind. It's a very easy craft. And again, Tuesday should be an interesting day of content wise with that weekend link plus that's going to move the market around a little bit more. If we do see Weekend League Plus for Bundesliga, I think that might push up some of the Bundesliga cards a little bit more. But it also depends on preview packs. Now, I can't go into the store right now. I guess I can, actually. That's a lie. I can go in through here. It's letting me at the moment um, because the promo packs are going to all reset today. All these are going to go away, and maybe we do see some more preview packs that are a little bit more juiced because yesterday we had the 12.5Ks, and I guess I have a preview right now of a 25K pack which I will open. Um, but honestly, these preview packs didn't supply the market much yesterday and there really is not much that's coming from them. So uh, if we get like an 88 plus or a, an ultimate pack or any of the higher tier packs today in the promo section, then you might see some interesting things in terms of um, supply on the market because fodder right now is still, the rest of the fodder in this game is not that high, right? 85s, 8K, that's low. 86s, 11 to 12, pretty low. I mean, literally, if you go to 17K, you can buy 89s. Why even buy an 86 for 12K? Spend 5K more or 6K more and get yourself an 89 rated card. It's crazy. Um, 84s are dropping a little bit though, but it's all this 81, 82, and 83 rated cards that are so expensive because people are grinding the 85 times 10. So I do think that if we have some player um, preview pack supply, that might bring these down a bit. And they kind of been going every few days. So it might be a decent day where they actually put out some nice preview packs into the game, which could supply also TOTS cards on the market a little bit as well. Of course, you know, batch two that is in packs. That could be something because some of the TOTS cards actually bounce back up a little bit. Like Neymar TOTS was down in like one in the one five. He's back up at one seven. Messi team of the season, of course, with the SBC for Depay that was released yesterday. He was like 650,000 coins and now he is up to about 715k with a nice little undercut right there. So you're just seeing some of the cards bounce back up. But today on Tuesday, what I expect is the weekend league plus objectives to be released, whether it's Bundesliga, whether it's Serie A, whether it's a mixture or a non-specific weekend league plus objective. I do 100% expect that. And also, I would expect to see some sort of upgrade pack. Right? They've been doing this almost every week. I think last week on Tuesday we had the 86 plus player pick we'll probably have some sort of either player pick today or we'll have some sort of like upgrade pack like an 87 times three or maybe they'll do like an 88 times five footies team two that would have to be added into the code which we do not see just yet but maybe watch out for some along those lines today on tuesday as well but we will see right again this 85 times 10 is just taking over the game at the moment if you like grinding the menus you can grind it through draft as well 
I play like one draft game per day. I'm in round two and I'm trying to get myself into a nice draft final again. Honestly, if you get the draft final and lose, I've had better luck with rewards there than actually winning the draft. So maybe a little superstition, but something's going on with that too. So again, it's just kind of interesting how our focus really shifted from Syria right to Bundesliga after EA put that content out yesterday. We really were not expecting it. At least I wasn't. I really thought it was going to be a Syria focused week and EA said, gotcha. And they switched it up. So if you're going to do a Bundesliga week and this weekend, of course, wait for the objectives today just to, to secure that in and to see that out because EA can do anything they want, to be honest. So we will have to just ride and see what EA does today on Tuesday and then make our decisions from there. But that's the content, man. That's what we happen, had happen yesterday on the market. And of course, that is what is happening with that 85 times 10 grand as well. I wanted to explain that because it's a very, that's what everybody's doing in FIFA right now. It's what it feels like. So gameplay, grinding the menus. There's a lot to do, right? This game is, in my opinion, definitely not dead. There's tons to do in this game. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.